Hey everybody, Tech Bishop here. Today's video is an answer to a question that I received on a video that dated back to 2014. It's commercial driver's license, general knowledge, test, and answer. <laughs> The guy asked a question on there a couple of days ago, well, one day ago, said that he's confused as to which is for the permit and which is for the license. Any help would be great. That's what I'm going to try to explain here, plus I'm also going to do a kind of an update. But this particular video and this particular website is just to get your permit. I would suggest you go and get a manual, a commercial driver's manual from your Division of Motor Vehicles, if you can, if they give them out still, and, and most of them I think are on the website, so you go there, find out all the information you need. They'll either give you a book or they'll direct you over to the website. You can study this website, but what I would suggest you do first is to go over to truckercountry.com, links in the description up there and the card up here. And this is a free website, I'm not trying to sell you anything. They're free, I'm free, everything's free, there's no upselling. Just go over there and they have general knowledge, or they have hazard material, everything, but I'm going to direct you directly to the general knowledge test. There's 15 tests there, you take all these tests. If you can make 100% on every one of the tests, then you go back to your manual and read through it a couple of times. Then you go down to your DMV, take the written test, and that will get you the learner's permit. That's all this does. I'm going to show you some examples. To the right, we have four choices, the practice test, classic mode, practice mode, or the uh, exam mode. So we're going to take the uh, practice mode. As it states here, there's no time limit. Take all the time you need. You may get the immediate results after each question along with the reference from CDL manual to help you learn. And there is 15 practice tests. And these are the same questions that's going to be on your general knowledge test at the DMV. So if you can pass all 15 of these questions or 15 tests, you should have no problem acing your general knowledge test for the CDL. So let's start. We'll just do this test together and show you how this particular site works uh, and, and a few examples of what you really need to look for. Now this says, uh, when accelerating, always use the parking brake to slow down. Do not engage the clutch before you take your foot off the brake. Speed up smoothly, gradually, and avoid jerking hammer down when your wheels start to spin. So make sure you read all four answers. See if it's correct. Make sure you read all four answers before you answer. Now the suspension system, you, know, you have your four choices here. And of course is to keep the axles in place. And as you go along it tells you your correct or wrong, and then you click to go on to the next question. How often should you, could, all right, this is one of the examples I was telling you about. How often should you could check your cargo? Now, if you get in a hurry with this test, you're going to see, oh, within the first 50 miles, oh, that'd be it, correct. Well, that is correct, and that one's correct, and that one's correct. So it's all of the above, and if you click this one first, it will actually mark it wrong, even though it is a correct answer, but they want all of the above. Okay, so that's correct. I move on. A commercial motor vehicle is CMV is defined as you know, over gross weight of 26,000 pound. All of the above. Hazardous material, 16 pounds. All of the above. Correct. Okay, let's move on real quick. In the, in the event of an accident, you should remember to do the following, except, see, now there's this, didn't say to do the following except for this. 
Move the victims out of the way immediately. Protect the area, notify authorities, stop bleeding. It's kind of a trick question. They don't want you to do this. Correct. Okay, your vehicle is going down a long hill and your brakes begin to fail. What should you do? Pump the brake pedal, downshift, put the gears in neutral, or look for an escape ramp or an escape route. Correct. Okay, the next one, we've got three more. Tires should be replaced. Here's another one of those questions. When the tread separates, that's right. Or when it's broken valve stems, okay. All of the above. If you get too quick and, and, and answer A first, you will be marked wrong on that question. Which of the following statements about downshifting is not true? Downshift before starting down the hill, downshift before entering the curve, downshift when you get to the bottom of the hill, downshift before climbing the hill. Well, as obvious as what purpose is downshift when you get to the bottom of the hill? Because that is not true. Not which of the following statements about downshifting is true, is which one is not true. Number nine is which of the following statements about overhead space is true? The heights posted at bridges are usually accurate. The weight of the cargo changes a uh, truck's height. Warning lights are always installed on low bridges and overpasses. An empty van is lower than a loaded one. So it's, it's obvious it's the weight of the cargo changes a truck's height. Correct. Now we move on, one last one. At 55 miles per hour, it takes about six seconds to stop a fully loaded truck, and the braking distance is, is it a quarter of a mile, a football field, 100 yards, two truck lengths, or two car lengths? 100 yards, correct. I have 10 out of 10, correct. And that's just an example. Um, you can go, like I said, to these other, the, the exam mode. I'll show you that real quick. It is, uh, each test is timed, but the practice you won't have to hurry. Once the test is complete, you'll get your uh, complete report with con correct answers. So it will give you the correct answers, so if you do miss several, then you'll know which questions you need to study. And this, when you complete these tests, then go back and, and read your manual or whatever your DMV or uh, DOT office gives you in your state. It'll make it a whole lot easier to learn these things once you get a good feel for some of the questions. And these are probably the same questions again, but it's timed. See if it's the same question, general knowledge. Okay. Yep, see it's timed, and we have over here nine minutes and 56 seconds to answer 10 questions. So you have a minute for each question. But um, I hope that helps you pass your CDL general knowledge test, you know, the combination vehicle and things like that. Uh, this is a great site for that, Trucker Country. Um, the link will be in the description below. So good luck and uh, be safe. Tag Bishop out.